Hey guys, what's going on? It's Blade again from Car Audio Security. Today we are looking at five different types of single DIN head unit. Okay, so before we get into the main part of the video, single DIN head units are widely regarded to fit in most older vehicles. Single DIN meaning it's half of a double DIN, essentially, it's a single DIN size, which is generally fitted in older vehicles such as um, like Mark II Golfs, for instance, older Peugeots and stuff like that. Um, but nowadays, there's a wider variety of single DIN options available. It's not just your generic single DIN stereo. You've got floating screen options, flip out screen options, single DIN little stereos with a little screen on it and even retro style units. So, <clears throat> starting with the retro unit. Now, Blaupunk are a brand that are widely renowned for their older units. They've been around for donkey's years, uh, probably longer than I've been alive, that's probably sh for sure. But these Blaupunk units, especially this one here, the Bremen SQR46 DAB, the very, very popular upgrade for older vehicles when people don't want to change the look of their stereo, but they want modern features. So this will look like an older tape player, will suit most, say, 90s to noughties vehicles, but will give you modern features such as Bluetooth streaming, hands-free calls, and DAV radio. Um, so it's really, really versatile. Uh, we can open it up in a second, we'll have a look. Uh, but we have done an in-depth video on this particular unit on the channel before, so if you're interested in that, search it up and we'll be there. Okay, moving on to the more standard head unit. So this is a more standard everyday head unit. This is the KDC BT960 DAB by Kenwood. Uh, now these are your normal head units that you'll find on the shelves in most shops. Um, they're kind of multi-coloured display, um, multi-lines LCD screen, uh, volume knobs and buttons and stuff like that. Uh, these are pretty much capable to go in any single DIN slot, will work with pretty much every vehicle, um, but they come in lots of different specs. So this is one of Kenwood's highest spec single DIN head units. Uh, it's got 5 volt pre-outs, um, multi-colour changing display, Bluetooth streaming, hands-free calls, DAB, CD, all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, really, really good units. Um, you can get fantastic sound quality out of these. These are kind of the, the best units to go for if you're after sound quality. Um, you're not after all them other features like CarPlay and stuff like that. So moving on to the next single DIN unit. So this is very, very similar to your basic head unit, which we've just gone through. Uh, but this one is the JVC X560BT. Now, we did quickly go over this in the last video, uh, but this is essentially a single DIN head unit with a little screen on it. So rather than just like an LCD display, it has an actual screen. And the benefit of this is you can add a camera to this, so a reversing camera. So if you've got a vehicle that you can't fit, say, a floating screen or flip-out screen, but you really, really need a reversing camera, this is a fantastic option. You can hook up a reversing camera directly to it. It's going to show it on this little display here. And then it works otherwise, just like a normal head unit. You've got Bluetooth streaming. There's a DAB option if you want the DAB. This is just your Bluetooth version. Um, you've got all the normal settings that you'll find, FM radio, all of that. But you've got that reverse camera option. Now, moving on to flip-out screens. So nowadays, there's not really many options of flip-out screen. Pioneer are the only ones that currently make them on the Japanese market. Um, they make two options. They make this, which is the AVH Z7200 DAB. So this comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, DAB, CD, DVD, and loads and loads of different specs. It's a fantastic unit. Uh, they do make one without the DAB and the CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, but this is fantastic. Basically what it is is a, when it's closed, it looks like a normal single room radio, but it's the most rise screen that comes out and flips up. You can also adjust the depth of it and the tilt. Uh, but this is a great option if you do need the CarPlay and Android Auto for navigation purposes, for instance, but you only have a single DIN slot. Um, obviously, you can only get up to a 7-inch display with these because it's got to fold back into the, the body of the unit. Um, but yeah, these are still really, really popular. It's a shame it's only Pioneer that makes them at the moment. Um, they're not, obviously, back in the day, these were all the range, so it's good to still have these. Okay, next we have the floating screen option. So this being the Alpine ILX F115D, one of their many options on floating screens. Uh, this is the big boy 11 inch screen. Uh, but essentially what this is, is a single DIN body, 
Still the same as everything else here, but has a big, this one has a big 11 inch touchscreen. So if you've got say like a, a van, like a transporter or a caddy or something like that, that you can only fit a single in or you want something that's a bit more upright and uh, in your face, you can opt for something like this. Now, because it is a floating screen and it is so big, it's not retractable, you can't put it back in, you can't hide it away. So bear that in mind, but obviously nothing else is gonna come close to the screen size on these. These are a bit more modern. You wouldn't have seen these back in the day. I think these, they sell really, really well. They work really, really well. They've got loads and loads of features. I mean, this one's fully specced. You can't really get anything else. Uh, Android Auto, CarPlay is wireless, HDMI input, Bluetooth, hands-free. Um, you name it, it's got it. So, fantastic unit. I'm pretty certain I've reviewed all of these units in our videos in the past, apart from the X560 BT. So, I think we'll probably have one of these coming soon. Okay, so that was a overview of the five options on Singleton head units. So I hope this has helped you guys. Um, I know some people aren't aware that obviously if you do only have a Singleton slot, you're not stuck with your standard Singleton head unit. You do have a few options now. Um, you can go for something crazy like an 11 inch screen or you can go for something that's got a tiny little screen on it if you just want that. So there are a lot of options about. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there are any questions, just leave them in the comments below. These are all available to purchase on our website at carreadysecurity.com. Also, if you would like this installed, please head on down to our showroom in Hayes and we'll be sure to get you booked in for a fitting. Uh, but that's it from me. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.